we've all seen it. It's raining outside. You drive by someone's house. You see the irrigation system running. You think to yourself, what a waste of water. Even when it's not raining, did you know that many Twin Cities residents with irrigation systems have a tendency to overwater their lawns? You might be one of them and not even know it. In fact, many metro communities use three times as much water in the summer as they do in the winter, mostly because people are watering their lawns way too much. Now initially, one of the most important things you can do is run your irrigation system and check for any leaks. We find that many irrigation systems can be quite outdated. They'll have at least one leak in them. And this particular sprinkler here is bubbling up from the sprinkler body itself. We find that at least 70% of Twin Cities residents with irrigation system have at least one leaking sprinkler. Surprisingly, from some of our survey results, I found that 25% of Twin Cities residents have five leaking sprinklers. Repair those leaky sprinklers, and ultimately you'll save money in the long run. Now here's another thing you can do. The number one question that I receive regarding irrigation systems with homeowners is how long should I run my sprinklers for? You can measure that with cans like this. Follow our tutorial at extension.umn.edu to conduct an irrigation audit, or you can certainly hire a professional irrigation contractor to conduct the test for you. And did you know, the average Twin Cities resident irrigates about 500 square feet of impervious surfaces. Your typical Twin Cities lawn will require about one inch of moisture from rainfall and irrigation. Irrigation is not meant to be your sole source of water. Generally, in your average summer months, we receive four inches of precipitation in June, July, and August. In reality, you may only need to water a few times per month to maintain a nice, healthy, attractive lawn in a Twin Cities summer. You can learn more water-saving strategies for your home lawn at extension.umn.edu and metrocouncil.org.